Hi everyone, this is the Koenigsegg Absolute. This car goes from 0 to 400 km per hour and back to 0 in less than 28 seconds. Um, it was completely optimized for top speed, so they dropped a lot of downforce. Uh, let's see how they improved the aerodynamics, because they claim a drag coefficient of less than 0.28, which is quite impressive for a sports car. Let's have a look. So, at the front of the car you'll see a massive splitter, which does add some downforce, and you'll see that in the midsection it kind of curves up a little, so more air gets channeled underneath the car, which is sometimes contradictory, but it does help to actually improve the aerodynamics. Um, then you have an inlet here, uh, which probably feeds air uh, through either to either a radiator or to the wheel wells. Um, here on the side you have the wheels. Um, this is interesting, uh, so there's actually uh, an opening here which will feed some of the high pressure air uh, to the sides of the car and actually the entire side of the car here um, can actually bleed air along the side of the car here um, then over here you have the side air intake um, over here uh, which does feed air into a radiator which is behind this grill um, at the top the car is actually very smooth uh, these fins they're not really there to generate downforce but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're there to either generate some kind of vortex or to guide the way uh, to guide the air in a certain way that it hits the rear of the car in a more beneficial way then we have the um, flat wheel covers on the rear wheels because wheels do act like mixers and this reduces the uh, drag and at the bottom here I don't know if you can see this uh, this part here this is actually a vertical wall that sits um, between the wheels and the underfloor so that the, the, the wake around the wheel doesn't pollute the mid airflow section which feeds the diffuser so let's continue to the back so if you look at the back here you'll see that there's a massive diffuser so you'll see the massive diffuser here at the rear of the car. What's interesting is that there is actually a grill or maybe even a radiator behind the rear wheels, um, which I don't fully understand. There's not really a lot of high pressure air. Um, these tunnels are massive below the car. Um, and then actually here at the center of the car, you can see that there's even an, another radiator there in the middle. I don't fully understand this either. Usually this section is quite high, but maybe they had like the gearbox there, which is why they maybe had to lower this anyway. Um, and then if you go all the way to the front of the car again, to wrap this video up, you'll see that they have positioned the windscreen wiper in a central position. So it's not flat, causing air to be turbulent. It's in the middle. And what's also very interesting on every uh, Koenigsegg design, this is quite typical, um, is the huge A-pillar. There's actually no real A-pillar, this is like one big, nicely curved, uh, smooth area, which is really, really good for drag. Hope you liked the video, talk to you soon.